Are you a soon-to-be bride and wondering how much a bridal bouquet costs? Well, sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but the average bridal bouquet these days costs on average $250. Yes, that's correct, $250. Now don't cry your pretty little eyes out, because lucky for you, I'm here to guide you into another option, making your own bouquet. So the first step is to take your cute little butt and go to the local Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's is literally the goat for cheap flowers, cheap and good flowers. These flowers are absolutely stunning. They have roses, they have peonies, they have mums, they have any type of flower that you could really want for a bouquet and they have it at an amazing price point. So once you take yourself to Trader Joe's, Go ahead and make sure to get yourself some eucalyptus, some roses. They have beautiful thornless white roses and take those bad boys home. Get yourself some duct tape, some very sharp scissors that can cut through the flower stems and slowly start cleaning the leaves off of the flowers. So as you can see here, I took all the roses and I took those nasty stems and uh, leaves off of those bad boys. So I want a nice smooth flower stem and I'm going to start by taking the first rose in the middle. The first rose is actually going to be the tallest in the bouquet because I want a nice dome shape. I want it to be kind of like rounded so I want the middle flower to be the tallest and all of the surrounding flowers surrounding it to be a little bit lower. So I start with the first flower in the middle and then I make sure to cut a small strip of duct tape and then I tightly wind each of the flowers one by one by one onto the perimeter of the central rows. So as you can see here, I'm taking a small strip of duct tape, I'm attaching another extra rose to the outside exactly where I want it and once I'm sure that that's the perfect placement for the next rose. I go ahead and duct tape that bad boy really tightly so that it's nice and snug. And we don't want any loose flowers up on this bouquet. We don't want it to look tacky, so we want it to be nice and tight. And that's what's gonna give it that really nice, rich, expensive look. So make sure when you're doing this step, you go ahead and make sure that duct tape is nice and tight. And don't worry about the duct tape, honey. It's not even gonna show in the end because in the end, what you do is you take some ribbon, some white ribbon preferably, that in my opinion looks the best. You can even get that at the Dollar Tree. Go, go to the Dollar Tree and get some white ribbon, some white satin ribbon. Take that ribbon and go ahead and hide the duct tape. Once you're all done, duct taping all of the flowers together as you can see i'm doing one final roundabout with the duct tape because i have all the flowers that i want because i don't want it to be too big that's my personal preference i wanted a small bouquet so once i'm all done with that i do another final round with the duct tape and this duct tape is a little bit longer than the other ones so i spin it round and round make it nice and tight and then you go and get some nice long ribbon and tie it up. As you can see here, I added some eucalyptus at the end to give it some texture, some color, and there's another photo, and another photo, and another photo. You can see the white ribbon at the bottom. So hopefully that was helpful. If you found it helpful, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!